Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Bella here and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how I achieved this gold and orangey makeup look. So if you want to see how I got this look then just keep on watching. So the first color that I'm going to go into is Sienna from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm actually going to mix that with orange soda with my Morphe M330 brush and I'm really going to buff that into the crease as our transition shade. Now going back into Sienna, I'm just going to define the outer crease even more and I'm going to go in with a couple different brushes just to really make sure that it's blended out and really diffused into the crease. And now I'm going to go into Sienna once more just to really define the outer V even more. And the first brush that I'm using is the MAC 217. And now I'm using the Morphe M330 brush just to really buff that color out. Now I'm going in with some Too Faced glitter glue. I'm just going to be packing that all over the lid because the pressed pigment that we're about to use does have a little bit of fallout. And this is Rich Bitch by Johnny Consort Cosmetics. Now to add some more dimension to the eyes, I decided to go into Sienna one more time and I'm just going to diffuse that inward on the outer corners just to add a lot more dimension, like I said, and to bring more warmth into this look. And I feel like it adds a really beautiful touch to the eyes and now I'm just blending out the eyeshadow once more with the Morphe M330 brush. Now. For primer, I'm going in with the Smashbox Foundation Primer and I'm just really patting that into my skin to smooth out my pores. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, which I've absolutely been loving. And I'm going to be using the Morphe G6 Buffing Brush to apply this. And I really love this brush because it just adds a really airbrushed finish. And I'm just going to blend that evenly all over my face. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Conceal Concealer and this Bobbi Brown Concealer Brush just to apply this evenly and as usual, I'm going to apply it in two triangle shapes under my eyes, a little bit on my nose, a little bit in the center of my brows, and just in all the center parts of my face just to add a little bit of brightness. To blend it out, I'm using my Real Techniques Complexion Sponge. And I'm just doing padding motions uh, to really blend out that concealer. To set my concealer, I'm going to be using a makeup pad and the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Press Powder just to really hold my concealer all day and prevent creasing under my eyes. Now with an e.l.f. blush brush, I'm just going to be setting the rest of my face just so that I don't get oily throughout the day. For mascara, I'm going to be using the Greater Than MDM Flow Mascara. And for lashes, I'm going to be using the Flutter Lashes in the style Ashley. For bronzer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and my MAC 168 brush just to buff this all over my face, just to add some color. Now going into the Anastasia Contour Kit, I'm using Java and Havana just to really chisel out my cheekbones and to make my face look a little bit slimmer. And I also like to do the same step to my forehead just to slim and make my forehead look smaller. And now going into the Milani Blush in Rose de Oro, I'm just going to be putting this on the apples of my cheeks. Now going into the L'Oreal Infallible Ice Latte Shadow, I'm just going to be applying this in my inner tear duct, which is really just going to make my eyes look more wide awake and open. And now going into this Anastasia Gel Liner in the color Jet, I'm just going to be applying this in my waterline. And now going back into Sienna, I'm just going to be buffing this on my lower lash line just to really make my eyes look more open and to add more color on the lower lash line since we have heavy lashes and a lot of shadow on the top we want to match the same thing on the bottom. Now going back into my MDM Flow mascara I'm just going to be applying this on the lower lash line just to give it a more dolly eyed look. Mm -hmm. 
So I already applied my lip liner and for lipstick, I'm gonna be using a liquid lipstick from Anastasia in my ultimate favorite shade called Spicy. And I tried my hardest to get this in frame, but I guess I didn't even realize that it wasn't in frame. So that's how Spicy looks. And now I'm going in with highlight and I'm using the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlight and my Morphe Fan Brush just to apply this. And I'm just gonna put this on my cheekbones and this is gonna make your cheekbones look more lifted. And that's the finished look guys. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did, please make sure to like this video and also subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching guys.